Welcome back to Potatoes, to episode 8 of Imperial Galactic Survival in Alpha 6 Stable. As we left off last episode, we had just placed the ladybug, which as you can see in front of me, I'm about to go out now and start harvesting a bunch of resources. I won't drag you through the trenches, as it were, because you did see a bit of that last episode, but it's pretty much more of the same. We'll be using the Ladybug, of course, which is a hover vessel mining routine, which I had done uh, certainly back in Season 1. I think I may have had this on the ground earlier in this season as well. I honestly can't recall where I left off because I have done so many restarts. So I will go out and crank out the resources in our blueprint, or in our factory, I should say. Uh, we do have the blueprint in place. Uh, this is actually not the right one. It's this one, actually. Basically just uh, four of the six resources we can get here on the planet. Uh, one of which, of course, being uh, Prometheum, which is not on the radar there. actually makes a fifth, but that's just for the power. But I will uh, actually bring it up and actually said this wrong actually I was thinking about this guy is actually the one that we're going to be creating but uh, same statements apply because it is the same resources as you can see hence my uh, minor confusion here but, uh, we'll go out and do some harvesting and I'll be back uh, once we get the ingots so we can do some actual exploration in the area very well and back from a run out in the open did some mining. Take a look in the harvest cargo box here in the ladybug. You see, we got a bunch of resources. Should actually take some promethium too for fuel, I suppose. But, uh, have basically one stack, a little less actually the silicon, but uh, stack of each to make the ingots that we will need to make the tier one craft. I should have got some magnesium. I guess I will go back out and do that. But uh, we'll go down and make the ingots. When that is done, we'll come back in and start the factory build. So here I am back the following morning. That is morning in real time. Uh, I did finish getting some of the magnesium, as I had mentioned in the previous clip. And then after launching the ingots to craft to make our small vessel, I admit, I fell asleep and, well, <laughs> I woke up to a login screen saying, you need to, you know, do you want to spawn at your base or nearby, whatever, so, <laughs> thankfully I was standing right out front, so recovering my goodies was really not an issue at all, but, uh, nonetheless, with that said, let's get our tier one vessel started in here put the ingots that we did make in here and hopefully I have the right amounts wait a minute I certainly miscount on that by quite a bit didn't I <laughs> I guess I just can't read so I'll have to make some more iron ingots and we'll come back and start those. But the other thing I'm going to do as well is make the large factory, which I'll just drop inside uh, the base for now. Again, this will not be our, our finalized base, but uh, once we uh, get a location... Oh, I see, that's what happened. I don't have enough iron in here to make what I tried to make, do I? Okay. Regardless, but I will make the this large factory so we, it's a bit easier to make things such as the ammunition which we will be using on the small vessel as we explore the planet so we'll get that going and i'll see you soon there we go and now we have another 300 ingots which should push that over the top it sure does and we will start production so in another 22 minutes of real time we'll have our small vessel to fly around 
So while we do that, let's take a look in our emergency factory here to see what exactly we will need to make our large constructor. Okay, and as you'll see, we need to make all the components in this. The majority of you, I'm sure, are well aware of that if you play the game, but I know there are a few uh, who are viewing this either that don't have the game or are uncertain as to whether you do plan to get it. Uh, if this is a deciding factor for whatever it's worth, I would say get it. Clearly, from the amount of content uh, I put out by comparison, this game I am very much in tune with and by quite a bit. So, it's, in my opinion, it's definitely worthwhile getting this game. Uh, even in early access because they are intently adding more and more content. Uh, 6.0 obviously is a good point of that, but as you can see in the top right up here, uh, we did actually have an update overnight, which were primarily a number of bugs, bug fixes uh, when I logged in today. So now we're at 601.108.2, is it? Yeah, so... That is good. They are keeping right on top of things as errors are reported, which is, of course, a big part of our process for this. So let's go ahead and start making the components. I will make those up uh, off camera, and then we'll come back when we're doing the final craft and see where we can fit this thing in the base. And here we go, and as you can see, we have a large constructor in here now. It's starting to get dark, so about time to step inside anyway. As I mentioned uh, when I snoozed off last night, I'm not sure if I actually died from starvation or if I was actually killed by something because I actually was standing outside, so either is certainly possible. But, uh, we'll go ahead and put the large constructor on our hot bar. Let's see, number five and see if it fits in here and as I suspected it may not because there's other stuff in the way say la vie all right maybe up top if we can put it on top that's fine again this is just kind of a conglomeration pile of stuff <laughs> okay dope Maybe we can put it on top of this building here. Turn your jetpack on, rat. Okay, let's see. Of course, I can't manage to get up here. Okay, this will work. Let's see. Put it right on this. Sure can. There we go. Not the most thought out place, but... Hey, it works. <laughs> All right, so now I'll go ahead and load our uh, resources into that. It also has a bit more storage in the emergency container, uh, so we can collect a little bit more, but I don't want to go too crazy until we get one of our uh, capital vessels because that, the, all of those I have altered to have plenty of storage, so that won't be an issue. I do tend to be a bit of a pack rat of that. There's just no doubt. <laughs> so now that the factory is down, we'll go ahead in our small vessel uh, tech tree here so we can select the weapons that we will be using. I know this ship has the Gatlin gun and the rocket launcher. So we'll go ahead and unlock those two. And for now, I think that's really just about all I will need, specifically. Uh, so we will also go in to the base, because I would like to get a defensive gun up top as well. The base does come with a small ammo box, but it has no turrets up top in this particular case. So I think I will simply get uh, the small sentry gun really doesn't help a heck of a lot towards things like drones. To the best of my knowledge, however, the drones still do not attack uh, either a POI base that you take over or your starter base, only bases that you place down with the base starter. So 
I'm more interested in protecting against the wildlife that is attacking around the area. So with that done, we'll go ahead in then to our large constructor. And now we should be able to make and base the small sentry gun. Which I guess it's in the weapons, isn't it? Yeah, here it is. Make one of those just for the critters. And I want to say this is 5.8 millimeter bullets. Yes, it is. So, make a couple stacks of those, as well as a bunch of the 15 millimeter bullets, which are the bullets used in the small vessel that we have, and the missiles, which I think so it's not the 130 millimeter. I want to say maybe it is 130. Let's see. Yes, it is a 130 millimeter missile. Make some of those as well. Those are not the guided missiles, of course, but they do do a bit more damage. So, in a pinch, we can take out some turrets or something. So, we'll let those finish spinning up. And by then, we should be just about ready to place our small vessel. And we can go flying about. And very good. There we are, complete. The blueprint has in fact completed while I was waiting for these to finish as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the ammunition we just created. And then over here is the ammo box. We'll drop the 5.8 millimeter bullets in there. And yeah, those are actually the same as a small gun, so I guess I had those available anyway. That's fine, that should be enough for basic base protection. Ooh, there's a tongue twister. <laughs> so we'll go ahead up top and place the turret up here. There we go. And let's see where can we fit it. I guess this works over here. Because a lot of these blocks, the way they're placed, of course, occupy the entire cube, so they will not go on top of the walls when they are facing out. But this is fine right here. We'll go ahead in and set it. We'll other factions, all that. We won't worry about cores. We won't worry about thrusters or generators because if we are attacked by a ship, we want it to focus on the turrets and weapons first, of course. And we certainly want predators. Good. So now our base will have some basic protection so I can space out and stand outside without being terribly concerned about the spiders and night raptors and things that spawn. Looks like I can go down and pick some more corn, but we'll do that afterwards. This next step, we will go into our factory and get the tier one prefab alteration and spawn it. Looks like a good place right there. There we go. And we now have our basic small vessel down. Go ahead and get in and open up the ammo box. We got the 15 millimeter bullets, which we have four stacks currently. And as you can see, I did not make too many of the 30 millimeter missiles. Looks like I misnamed that, didn't I? <laughs> when I made the blueprint, but okay. Should actually check that just to see is that actually. Yeah, it is a 130. So that was definitely a typo on my end. Alright. And likewise, go into main and fuel it up. I actually don't really have much oxygen, though I do have the generator going over in the water, but uh, we don't need it here on the planet, so that's not an issue, really. And turn the lights on. And there we go. So, take a launch up, even though it's nighttime, I think actually I will just sit here and wait for daytime, though we will be flying before I actually do take off, but... Uh, we'll pick up there. So here it is, as you can see the sun is coming up, you can see that through the window, 
you will note it is much brighter in here now as I actually made a number of lights uh, while I was waiting. Dark videos are never good, of course, on YouTube, so I'll try to brighten up the area in general. I've also taken some time in the tech tree and then locked all of the weapons that I am capable of at my current level. Still have quite a ways to go. As you can see up here, I'm still level 11. There's the one downside to mining with the mining vehicles is you do not get experience as you mine with them as you do with the drill. So there will be some leveling involved as we proceed forward here. We have to get up to 25, of course, to end up with our final ship. But uh, with that said, we'll go ahead and get in our little beastie here and turn them back on. And off we go. External view I like much better, but do some exploring and gain some experience this way. With luck, we may gain a few levels. As you can see, I really haven't gone that far away from the starter area, just around the lake. So we'll start, let me start north and we'll kind of spiral down the planet. As far north as the barrier. And then see what we can see. I did actually bring along in my inventory uh, a core. Oops. I suppose I should go back to base because I also made a stack of fuel because I used the last up in fueling this, but uh, then I succeeded in leaving it behind, which certainly was not the intent. So we'll go ahead and get that and then uh, bring it back and we'll see what bases we can find. Ah, very good. And as we can see, our minigun turret there is actually shooting at stuff, so it is doing its job as intended. Good job, flying rat. Go get our fuel packs and then be back. And as previously mentioned, as you can see, there's a northern barrier to the right of us. So we will start flying around the world. I did bring the core with us, so if we find an appropriate base to acquire for ourselves, I will do that. Something with a lot of the planting areas. I did like the large farm that I had been using earlier in the season, but of course I haven't located that as yet in this particular seed. Assuming it's still here, they do have a variety of different POIs now in the game, so that will uh, increase the likelihood of new locations. But also with that said, I know they have also rebalanced the amount of POIs that are actually in the world. So as there may not be as many, even though there are additional new ones, some of the original ones may begin to disappear or become more scarce. We'll have to see how that goes. Okay, well, we have located one possibility. There's a residential complex over here. Let's take a look. I think there are a couple drones flying about it, but I don't know if it is aggressive and it does not appear so. I don't see any shots coming at us from the complex itself. Getting a little closer if we can, just take a peek at it. Is this one that has some? I don't, honestly don't recall this base. Ah, okay, this one. I've, yes, I have seen this one. There are some growing plots. It's, eh, it's a possibility. Just thought I'd bring in and note that. Flying back into the sunshine as it's coming up, circling the planet, of course. You can see we're about uh, two kilometers away from our actual starting base over there, the old farm. You know, I've done our loop around the top. Of course, I did manage to get shot at. I was actually looking at the map and took a couple hits. As you can see, there's a couple blocks missing on the left-hand side, so have to repair those once we do get back to the base. 
to a base since we don't know exactly where I will end up as yet at least I don't <laughs> well then so I'm coming around the point I'm using the base kind of as a marker but coming around this time I see that we do actually have the capital control vessel hanging out in the area thinking it might be wise oh wait a minute no that's not what that is that looks like a graphics glitch that appears to be part of this ship floating up in space very good well this clip I actually will record a little separately here to list to them sent to them as a uh, as a bug report because clearly that is not actually there seeing as I am flying what that came from so very well continue on around our spiral endeavor around the planet here point exactly west and then side skip a little to the left and then do the next band around the planet and we'll just pause a minute here. Here's one of the villages. This too looks like it has been redone. This is a slightly different village than I can recall seeing in previous versions. I just thought I'd point that out as we were flying over it in our planet scan, if you will. <laughs> and here's a couple more POIs. Another village, which looks very similar. It does have drones protecting it. See them buzzing around over there by the trees. They did shoot at me. But we have also located the abandoned mine, which is a very nice POI to go through. I don't intend to take it over. However, it does have two epic weapons uh, within it. So that is certainly worth raiding before we leave the planet. Let's continue on from here because I'm nearly done circling. Oh, I guess this is actually a base, isn't it? shooting at me it's not the drones that explains it then all right take a couple hits as usual they just scoot by but uh very well <laughs> there we go nearly back to base uh, about two and a half miles away or kilometers rather yeah i'm american never mind this metric stuff <laughs> but uh there's a large residential complex so we can certainly take that over that at least is available so we can get uh, a bunch of the growing plots going to start stocking up on food and such so here we are back at the base I'm just here I'm going to use uh, actually make a multi-tool because I haven't done that as yet uh, just to patch a ship up a little bit but in order to make the tier 2 drill as well as the tier 2 multi-tool I need some of the end game resources I think the Zascosium in a restroom perhaps but those actually can be obtained by shooting the space drone so I'm going to take this craft up nail a few of those before we continue out uh, and take over a base which will be basically the target for completion of this episode And just a note that I had discovered as I was waiting for some oxygen to go uh, before going up to space, of course, you want to have oxygen for the ship. But uh, I have noticed here that the EVA boost stats have changed. Uh, space in Aqua is negative 130 degrees. That used to be attainable uh, using a light armor with two of the EVA boosts uh, as far as the boosters installed but as you take a look here on the right with nothing in there the comfort zone is negative 10 to 45 but now in placing a single EVA boost you'll see the cold listed here is 190 so that has certainly increased the statistics so now the one EVA boost that they supply us uh, upon landing on the planet will be adequate to get out of our ship in space which will make it much easier uh, in fact will make it possible to loot the space drones that we will soon be shooting out of the sky above us alright 
Well, we're all repaired and the like, and I have the oxygen gen generator going. Uh, I am not going to go to space, I think, this episode. just I did actually make that bug report regarding the ghost blocks. And while I was doing that and some minor editing, uh, I did note that I've got about 25 minutes of video thus far. So we're going to be getting close on time. I think we'll make space uh, as well as hitting the moon an additional episode. So in the meantime, what we shall do instead is head over to the large residential complex, which we discovered in the exploration which conveniently is actually in a fairly close location to the uh, trade station, which is nice, so we'll be able to go up to the space base, so perhaps we'll do that uh, with the remaining time in this episode to see what they have added on the vendors. I know they do have, uh, as of the release candidates at least, they do have additional items. Some of them sell plants, some sell weapons, etc., etc. So we can see what the final verdict on that is. In the meantime, let's turn our movement blocks on. So now we can take off once again and head over to the large residential complex. Actually, the smart way to do it would be to set a marker on it. So we'll go ahead and right click there, and hit waypoint, and they have new icons, which honestly I have not seen function yet. Perhaps they've got them going, so we will say accept and just change it to that target icon and see. Very good, yes. And so those are now working. Very good. So we'll point our ship over to that waypoint, and I will see you upon our approach. So here it is sunrise over by the large residential uh, facility. I actually arrived just as the sun was setting here, so I did spend some time uh, overnight, well, over game night as it were, just waiting for daylight. So let's go ahead and turn our engines back on, because as I had commented uh, a moment ago, I had actually posted the graphical glitch that we witnessed a short while ago uh, and in reading that something else that a number of others have actually witnessed is that many of the drones apparently they've been having a problem with uh, undamageable invulnerable drones so there are a few drones near the residential complex normally so hopefully we won't run into that issue actually not seeing any drones nearby even coming up so I guess well, perhaps they're not around so I guess that may not be an issue for the moment anyway I would like to find a drone or two and pick it off just to see what happens before we do go up to the space facility but uh, in the meantime I'll go ahead and land us here at the residential complex no from previous takeovers so that the core is actually underneath very easy to get to so this shouldn't take but a moment and go ahead and shut our engines back off just to save a little power and we'll go down and replace the core to clean this base so down we go and there's the core right in front of us might as well just use the pistol to save the larger ammo. Actually, that's not the core, my bad. Uh, did they move it? I seem to recall the core being underneath the main building. Is this not the main building, or am I turned around? Ah, there it is. I guess I got turned around. <laughs> Don't know which end is up, or straight or north, whatever you want to say. <laughs> I believe this takes 30 bullets to blow up with the standard uh, basic pistol. Let's see if that is still the case. Apparently, a few more. There we go. So now we can go ahead and take our own core 
and drop it in place. Bonk. And now we own the base. Probably should have harvested the plants because another bug that I had read about is that the plants die immediately upon destroying the core in the base. We'll see if that is actually the case or not. Let's see, let's go ahead into the main and fuel up a bit. I guess I don't have a lot on me, but it's enough for eight hours anyway. That should be adequate for the moment. Let's go ahead on in here and turn our light on so we can see a little bit. And I guess these are empty anyway, so... Okay. Nothing died because nothing existed in the first place. Because we don't see any of the actual uh, dead plants in place. So with that said, I'm going to go back up to my ship and go find us a drone before we head over to the... Uh, Uh, to the trade station to go up to the space station. Okay, and there's a drone down there nearby. So we'll just pick that off. And yeah, those aren't vulnerable, certainly. That's reassuring. I'm certain that uh, something that they may have been doing slightly wrong or something. Who knows? But, uh, disproven that theory as it were in this particular case go ahead and move this guy up parts is parts after all <laughs> we don't need to go back to the outpost there that's the one I was heading towards but uh, we'll head back over to the residential complex actually that's not where we're going is it we're going to the trade station now let's see where is that on the map? That is... Doo -doo -doo. Here. We'll remove it upon arrival. And accept. There we go. So let's see. Is it that one? Large residential. There's the admin station. Okay. And there we are, we have arrived. So, I'll go ahead and jump out of this guy. Except for the fact that the client just crashed, so I will re log in and be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. And oddly enough, it spawned me outside of the ship, which, as you can see, is still 50 meters in the air took quite a bit of damage from falling being that I don't have any more health packs on me hopefully I do not uh, get attacked but the ships usually settle down after a moment or two they will come down to the ground so I will go get back in it and re-land at the trade post at that point <laughs> see there it is little bugs such as the nature of alphas in many cases. Uh, let's see, is the, are the motors even on? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, it was still flying even though I had, in fact, shut the engines off. Go figure, huh? <laughs> little bugs, little bugs. All right, so let's see if we can get over this guy again. Let's see, where's the landing pad? And this time, hopefully, we won't crash. It's a fresh load, because I did have it pause quite a while doing some swapping out before, so I'm not terribly concerned about it, to be quite honest. Okay, and landed. And shut the movement off. Very good. In fact, I'll shut the lights off as well. But I am going to leave the power on simply because I do have some food there. Matter of fact, I should probably eat some of it. If I have any, do I have any honey? I don't have any honey on me because that does have some healing. I guess the echo berries have some as well, so I'll eat a few of those. Oops, meant to eat it, not split it. 
There we go. All right, well, our stomach is full, and that's good enough, because I do not intend to be fighting up there. And I think I'm going to crash again. What the heck? Well, there seems to be something with this POI that's causing me to crash. I have run into this problem uh, back in Alpha 5 on a number of occasions, and I just avoided them, but I sincerely hope that the trade station is not one of those scenarios. So, once again, I will relaunch the client, be right back, and hopefully I don't find myself falling from the sky again, because this time I will likely not su uh, survive it. Okay, well here we are back. At least the ship is on the pad, so let's see if we can get inside without crashing again. <laughs> And somewhere around here, there's a teleporter that will take us up to the space station. A lot more NPCs inside these bases as well. I believe there are actually a couple of our vendors. This guy is a vendor, I think. Yeah. He has quite a variety of things here. Bandages, healing things, ammunition, etc. I am looking around because I'm not exactly sure where the teleporter is actually located. Let's see. Another trading station. More healing stuff. So they definitely do sell uh, a much wider variety than they had in the uh, final release candidates, which is good to see. We like new material after all, makes the game more interesting certainly. And LDN has been doing a wonderful job, especially with Alpha 6. They have done so many impressive improvements. Let's see if I can Jeez, I can't even find this elevator now, there it is. I really thought it was up on the second floor, but uh, I really... Is this another? Oh, it's a down. Hmm. Well, it's a look around. Oh, wait, there it is. Hiding behind glass. Can't see through glass after all, right? It's opaque. <laughs> yeah, sure. So here we go teleporting up to the space station. So we did actually make it to space today, even though I didn't fly up there in the ship as I had originally anticipated being able to do. But up here we have a much wider variety. We have gardening supplies, which allows us to get any of the growable plants, as well as plots apparently. Actually, one, two, three... Six, seven, eight, and actually it's not all of them. There are 14 plants to grow and he only sells eight, so I guess he does not have the entire variety. I will, however, pick all this stuff over here because they're decent experience. Actually, 300 experience up here on the base, whereas if you pick them in the wild, I think they're only half that at 150. Guess so you can't pick that one. Might not be fully grown yet, who knows? Okay, every little bit of experience helps, certainly. Let's see. Interestingly, I'm not actually sprinting when I hit the shift. I wonder why that is. I wonder if that's a, a limitation uh, in a space environment or not. So let's see, this guy sells some armor, he's got a few boosts, ingots, okay. And I don't think that guy's not a trader, all right. Let's go up and see what's upstairs. There's a little 
little faster with a jetpack on, so I'll just run it that way. Let's see utilities. More boosts, multi-charge, there's some medium armor. A bunch of components and such. And this guy. Okay, medical, some, actually some variety of things, some edibles, a couple of consumables on this particular NPC. And let's see, this guy, I guess he's not actually a vendor. Okay, so that's the second floor, let's go down a level then. And did we just crash? Decided to loot the storage container, and yes, it caused me to crash again. I don't know what the heck is going on. Maybe it's time to restart my system. There must be something in the cache or something blowing it up, but uh, we'll try this once again and see if I can get back down to the planet at least. <laughs> okay, and here we are back. Looks like I actually broke my leg. That may have occurred earlier. I didn't notice the icon, though I did actually get a notification as I logged back in. But you will notice I am not where I was when I crashed a moment ago. I'm back on the top floor, so it did not recall my actual location, apparently. I'll go ahead downstairs here. Let's get back to the teleporter, which... I think it was on this level, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is. I'll try to come back up here and loot after a system restart, but uh, it was always goodies, but I don't have a heck of a lot of storage down below as yet anyway uh, until I cycle through the base, much as I did earlier in the season in the previous playthroughs. Uh, Plant a bunch of plants down there and make some cargo boxes and things of that nature to use as a functional base uh, while I continue to level up to level 20 which is the level required to spawn the tier 2 uh, all CV alteration that I had created so we are back down at the base assuming I can get back outside again we shall fly back home. Actually, not necessarily back home. I'm not sure which home is at this point. Uh, see, how do I get out of here in the meantime? But, uh, I'm not sure where home is because we have the old farm, which was our starter base, but we just took over the new one. Both will end up being home eventually, kind of, but uh, actually rather the farm will be, as I just mentioned. But. Actually, as I think, I'm just thinking I'm still unable to sprint, but I have a broken leg, so that could very well be the reason behind that. That would make sense. Let's see, I know there's an elevator up to that pad there. Let's see if we can find that to get back. Uh, must be outside. La, 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 la. Hello, elevator. I see my ship. I want to get to it. <laughs> I guess it was in. Did it go inside? It must have been to inside. I guess I have to do this from the inside. So you know what? I'm gonna figure figure my way through this base since I don't know the layout, obviously, uh, and then I'll meet you back at the base. And here we are on our final approach weather has become foggy so it's a little harder to see long distances but the waypoints still show up certainly adequately enough go ahead and land us back at the base here and what to anticipate uh, by next episode is I will break this base down 
uh, and carry all the things that are in it over to the residential facility. I'll likely start reproducing our crops and such there and get our food production at a stable position so I won't have to worry about things like losing health as I did earlier when I got sick from the corn dogs because they always have a chance to make you sick from food poisoning which is certainly healable but it's damage that I'd rather not have to be concerned about because it does of course require additional med packs as well to tend to those issues so with that said I think we shall wrap it up here and I will do those activities and likely have a video up again for you folks in another day or two at which point we will proceed forward to actually go out into space and we will continue exploring the moon to gain some more experience to get as close to level 20 as possible as I had mentioned previously I believe that is the level required for the tier 2 vessel so we can leave the system to start getting our final resources uh, as well as some gold which is of significance now in single player because we can use that to buy things on the vendors that we just met up at the space station so with all that said I thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoyed what you've seen and take care